Call me crazy, but I've got a prediction for you today that is an absolute lock. It is going to happen, okay? Check it out. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Brian Simmons here with EXP Realty. It is January 19th, and we have a Rogue Value market report for you today. So check this out. 541 active single-family residential listings on the market right now between Jackson and Josephine counties, okay? 94 new listings in the last seven days, uh, which is which is still really high. Uh, we were right near there last week, uh, and that's still still staying high. 46 price changes, which is more normal. Uh, last week we had 72, which was insane. So uh, definitely more normal in the price change thing. Uh, 29 deals fell through and are back on the market, which is typically around 5% of the total number of pending deals, which we have 630 total pending deals right now on the market, which is a lot. Um, 125 went pending in the last seven days, which is also continuing to increase. Um, and we had 91 closes up from 74. So, uh, and finally, last but not least, 20 deals went uh, expired, withdrawn, or canceled 20 listings, I should say. Um, and so all of that together brings us to just under six weeks of inventory uh, based on the snapshot of just uh, that last week. So if we look at this year versus last year and kind of just where we're sitting overall, inventory is actually quite a bit higher this year with 541 units on the market uh, right now between the two counties versus 322 uh, this time last year, okay? We've added the same number of listings year to date, okay, within one. Um, so that's an important thing to remember, okay? We've had a lot more go pending uh, and, and quite a bit more close actually uh, so far this year compared to last year uh, at the same time. And that's probably because there's more on the market, right? There's more homes to buy, so uh, people are buying them. Um, and, and so, you know, from a demand standpoint, there's plenty of buying activity going on. The demand side is looking really, really strong. But like I said, there's only, uh, we're within one unit on, on the supply side. Okay. So, so new supply is looking pretty much the same, but demand is looking a lot higher. Okay. So here's my big wild prediction that I talked about. Okay. My prediction is that our low, okay. Our inventory low, the bottom is going to hit later this year than it hit last year. Okay, last year it was February 2nd or something, the first week of February. All right, this year, I'm gonna take the over on that one. <laughs> I think it may not even be in February, to be honest with you, and that's the crazy prediction. So let's see how that one plays out. Let me share with you why I actually think that, okay? And here's why, okay? It's because there's a lot of speculation about what's actually gonna happen with the mortgage interest rates, okay? Uh, and that may be causing more people to want to buy right now, okay? Because they have this fear that interest rates, mortgage interest rates are going to continue to rise. And there's no denying that they've definitely increased over the last month from the low 3% range to kind of the, the higher 3% range, uh, which seems counterintuitive, really, if you think about it, that the higher the interest rates going, the more buying activity we're seeing. Uh, but the reason must be that people think that the rates are going to continue to go up even further than they are now. Um, and that's, you know, that'll remain to be seen. We don't know whether that's going to happen or not. Uh, we do know that the Fed has talked about increasing the Fed rate. Um, but what is that, you know, the actual effect of that on mortgage interest rates? Okay. If you look at the period between 2008 and 2018, uh, the Fed increased their rate consistently through that whole 10 year period. And the other thing that consistently happened is that mortgage rates actually fell in that same 10 year period. So do I expect that to happen? No, not necessarily. But my point is just that if there's just a headline that says, you know, the sky is falling, interest rates are going up, all this sort of stuff, and um, don't necessarily think that that means it's going to happen forever uh, and that it's this doom and gloom scenario where rates are going to be, you know, 5% in another month. Like, I don't know that that's going to happen either. Um, so, so anyways... That's what I think is happening is these headlines are leading to buyers feeling like they need to buy right now uh, because rates are going to be through the roof in a very short period of time, which may or may not be true. We don't know. Okay. And at the same time, sellers are probably not as excited about selling as they were this time last year or in the spring of, of last year because um, they probably refinanced and got those really good rates that we had seen. And now if they go buy again, they're going to need to be buying something and, and getting into a mortgage that's at a way higher rate than what they're probably paying right now. So they're probably not as excited about 
um, listing as they were last year. So in my mind, that's why we're seeing eh, kind of like the same level of, of new listing activity, but quite a bit more buyer activity. So all in all, I see that leading to a, a later bottom than we saw last year. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm excited to see how that one plays out for sure. Okay. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, that way I can keep you posted on all this stuff. Uh, there's a subscribe button down here and be sure to check out the full version of the newsletter that's linked in the description. Um, and as always, please don't hesitate to reach out if there's anything in the world that could be for you. And I'll see you next week. Have a good one.